years ago you had to go by your your grandparents their full name and my father was the only male in the family so I was I was a choice for being the number one Mary oh. after his mom where was I born yeah where where right, were you right here in Dunkirk 523 Main. at the store yeah you lived where upstairs. did you live upstairs my father and mother and all his sisters lived at the homestead, which is just down the street here. Uh huh. And uh, my mother and my dad were walk, taking a walk one night, and my mother said, "Gee, Sam, why don't we buy this house? It looks like it would be a nice house for to raise our family, and we could build the grocery store in the front, because my father was a uh, uh, liked to buy fruits and vegetables in Buffalo." and bring them here to support these other little stores that didn't have trucks. Their loan mortgage was $2 and a quarter a week. Oh my gosh. That's all they had to pay. But then my father, if you go down the step where you go down the steps, that was a wall all the way. Mm -hmm. So my father uh, dug all of that up, all of that by hand. There was no machinery then, none at all. He just dug and dug tons of dirt out. He would go to Buffalo and load the truck up, and he would have flowers and geraniums and all this produce. And in fact, it was a big joke. They always used to tease my mother. They used to say, Rosie, where'd you find this beautiful baby girl? My mother used to say, in a box of lettuce over here. In the lettuce? <laughs> she was in the box of lettuce. When did you start working at the store? But when I really started, it was like 13, okay. and then my mother pushed it to 16 because labor laws said I couldn't. All right. But if my mother had her way, I'd have been out of school by the time I was 13. And they were open uh, every oh, day? Oh, yes, every day. Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, there was no closing. It was at 7 in the morning to 12 o'clock at night. I was very upset that my mother and father could never be at the table with us to eat. Mm -hmm. And of course my cousins weren't in the business, so they were happy. Then when I would get things, they would say, oh, you're smarty because you got a new dress or a new book. Well, you work for what you get. Right. That's it. Right. If you don't work, you can't put it on the table. You can't put it on your back. My dad and my mom had had the business and they were getting to the point where they couldn't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. So the bank, you know, told my father and mother, he said, why don't you take it over? And then you won't have to, this big a worry if, you know, if you take it over for them. Then you take it, turn it over into a pizzeria. Why a pizzeria, Mom? Because he owned a pizzeria in Buffalo. Your cousin? Well, he owned it at Amber. So one night he came down here and he took a ride around the city. There was no mama and papa pizza store. Right. So he said to me, he said, why don't you make this a little pizzeria? I said, you're kidding. He said, you can do it. I know you can do it. I know you better than that. I know you can do it. And I said, well, we'd gone to the hospital to see my mother. My mother was very depressed. She didn't think he could do it. She was so upset, so worried about her. That was her little baby. That was her jewel. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it was. What do we got here? It's the oven, and the microwave, and the big slicer, and the fryer. Can you imagine opening a pizzeria and forgetting to order the pizza the pepperoni? We forgot to order pepperoni. Your main thing you're selling is a pizza, and you're forgetting the pepperoni. But we had people coming in and out crazy with boxes. Oh, this is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've been waiting for. What do we serve here? I'm making two tacos right here. He's making two that? tacos. You see that, right? What else do we serve here? Pizza. Pizza. Some pizza. We serve pizza and some wings. Pasta, wings. Pasta, wings. That's what I make. That's what makes it so special. Anything yeah. else? What yeah. makes it more special? It's all homemade. That's why. Right. All homemade. She makes the dough. And make the pies. She makes the pies. I came from parents. It came with no education to the United States. And they taught me that honesty, you have to be honest 
with Tifa. Hello, Richard. Hello. How long have you been working here? Only 22 years. 22 years, folks. Yeah. 22 years. To progress, to get better, you, you have to do things that don't make you happy, but make people happy, and they want to come back. Oh, Mrs. Oh, you have to <laughs> Speechless. I've been working here well. 20 years? <laughs> 20 years. Wow. Officially, I've been working here one month. Being respected for what they do to you means more than the money that they put in the drawer. So smile. I've had three beautiful children. I've got six beautiful grandchildren. We're going to go to Mayor Russo's house right now. My nanny, the official like owner of Mary's Deli. Look at these fine pedestrians. Hello, pedestrian. Do you know Mary Russo? Yes, I do. Who is she? She's my mother-in-law. What's your name? Maria. Are you who? Russo. Are you Russo? Yeah. And now your son yeah. can have the business. Yes. Yep. And I think very, I, I honestly feel very proud of what I've done with my life.